and welcome back to heal with me um today i'm just gonna be talking while i'm doing my um face routine i'm gonna be doing like a a cleanse and like a scrub i honestly need like something to like refresh myself you know it's been like a rough a uh, couple of days i i sprained my back the other day um while I was carrying like 40 pounds of like laundry so yeah so I'm gonna be doing like a face mask because honestly in my younger years when I was like a, a teen I never really experienced like breakouts and stuff but now I have been experiencing breakouts like over here and like up here so I'm guessing it's like I just need to like either start eating better or doing a weekly face mask or this is like exfoliating um I'm not big on skincare I've never really done skincare too much like that but um I'm pretty sure now it's probably the best time to start you know especially since like I've had like little breakouts here and there it's probably really good for for the skin if anybody has any tips or advice on like facial care and like what you use and anything that works for them that would be great but um I also wanted to talk about the um the Shane Dawson podcast and how I'm actually kind of excited about it because um I really like the things that like he talks like things regarding his own like mental health like um you know his depression his anxiety and his eating disorders and stuff and he's very open and vulnerable about that and even though something like that or any of the things that he does can like be open to um criticism by like the internet and stuff like that i think at least that is like very it could be very helpful and essential for you know people that watch or listen to his content um i listened to the first episode and i was coming at it with a little bit of like like i wasn't sure how i was actually gonna take it or like how i was actually gonna like it but the whole hour went by and i i thought it was only like 20 minutes <laughs> so i guess you can say that i like really enjoyed it because usually like for like anything more than 20 minutes like i start to like get bored and i'll probably like just put it to like my watch later and i'll watch it like at another time but with the podcast i actually really enjoyed it especially the part where he had a little segment it's called like um fears unlocked or something the segment is called my insecurities and not fears unlocked that is another segment in their podcast but it's not the one i'm talking about here and they spoke about uh their fears and like things that like they're afraid of and it's just it's it's very vulnerable you know for you to like i guess put that out there and i guess some people would even suggest not to put stuff like that out there but I rather I, I enjoy listening to like you know when people are authentic about their fears and where they're at and um, how they got to where they're at right now and like the things that they're doing to kind of combat those fears and and anxieties so it was just very refreshing uh, for me to like I guess listen to that and and he spoke very openly about the things that he was afraid of, which was like, oh, I don't want to mess up again. With first is our biggest insecurity about doing this podcast and why we think it might be a bad idea. I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think for me, I'm a little nervous to uh, 
talk openly again about uh, random things because I don't want to censor myself, but also like back then I was trying to say the craziest thing I could to like get people to laugh and I don't really do that anymore. I guess I should though to be entertaining, but I just don't think I'm going to do that. Well, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I... Yeah. So I'm not going to be screaming crazy things. Jared can do that. Um, <laughs> I'm in. Like, it's almost like social anxiety, right? Like, except like it's in a social media type of space where it's like, where like in person and in real life, like if you have social anxiety, you're you're scared to like say something um, embarrassing or like you don't want people like to look at you or to judge you too much. And it's like, in this case, it's like he's doing it from like a social media like perspective. It's like, oh, if I put up the, put out this content, like they're probably gonna judge me and they're probably gonna criticize me. And then that's truth. That's, that's how the internet is, right? But um, I guess just like, Seeing it from that like vulnerable aspect of like I'm really of, of scared of this happening or doing something that'll probably you know put me in a negative spotlight and still doing it anyway still doing the podcast and still doing it um I don't know I give him a lot of credit because a lot of times often you know if something like that happens most people don't really come back and they don't they don't try again or like their reputation is completely tarnished and they don't want to like try anymore so um but as far as i'm concerned it's like i really missed um shane dawson in the space um i've always watched him since i was since the beginning of like youtube ever since youtube pretty much started and i found him i've i've been watching so Maybe I'm biased because I'm actually like a fan. I've never like purchased any of like his merch or like, you know, I'm not like, I don't, I don't stand people, <laughs> but I just sort of like watch, you know, and I, I see how they're, you know, how they're doing and stuff. And I've been watching Shane Dawson for a while and I'm glad that he's, he's coming back and it's like through a podcast and I'm also excited that he has his... <clears throat> his brother there to do like the like conspiracy aspect or like um or like just to give like just to be the ones I guess to like get the brunt of like criticism and like just in case he says something wild and crazy uh do I worry about maybe saying something stupid nah <laughs> <laughs> Only because if you've been around me for any any amount of time, I just say stupid stuff sometimes. You, you know? do, yeah. but but the it's all about intention, and I yes. think the intention behind everything we're saying is is just to be honest. Maybe there's some humor in there, but I'm never trying to hurt anybody's feelings. You know, I avoid walking on top of ants. Yeah. Um, because I don't think that um. Sorry, my face is all up in the thing. I don't think Shane Dawson wants to like purposely piss off people. I don't think that's like his intention. He seems like the type to just put out and say things like, I guess without like a filter and not really thinking about it. And some people take it the wrong way and that happens. But I just hope that things do go well with him and that you know people actually give him a chance to like redeem himself and give him the opportunity to like try let's wipe this off Does my skin look better? <laughs> or does it look the same? <laughs> mm. That was so refreshing. So yeah. So if you guys can just give me like um, ideas for products to use at least once a week because i don't know i can't do a fa i can't i don't think i could do a face routine 
every day like in the morning when I wake up I'll that's that's like a, a a habit that I would have to implement and I don't I don't think I could do that but once a week for sure I could definitely do so if anybody has any ideas anything um to help with like I guess like redness and like these type of like pimples I also have like blackheads and stuff or whiteheads I don't know I don't know too much about skin um but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one